Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to get bouncy curls straight from home. This is a very simple tutorial. First thing I did was start off with nice wash hair. It's absolutely nothing on my hair, no nothing, no conditioner, just nothing. Then I did something different, got some 100% African Shea Butter. And I got about two tablespoons of this and I put it in a microwave safe bowl. And please put it in a microwave safe bowl. Next, I just plop it in that microwave for about 30 seconds. So when you're done with that, it's going to look something like this. Um, this is always the first thing I would do because I do want it to like cool down just a little bit before I start putting it in my hair and stuff. But um, yeah, let's get started. So while that Shea Butter is cooling off, I just apply my favorite leave-in conditioner right now, which is the uh, Shea Moisture one. You can apply any of your favorite leave-in conditioner. Then I apply one of my favorite oils, which is avocado oil, to my ends. And this just um, basically strengthens your ends very well. I always do this when I do a twist out or anything like that. And then I always massage it in my roots too, just to, you know, stimulate some growth. So now it's time to apply some of that Shea Butter. And as you see, it's, it's much more easier to work inside your hair and stuff. So that's why I put it in the microwave to begin with. So for each section, you want to divide that in half and put that other piece on the other side. Then um, you want to work that Shea Butter in your hair real, real good. So then next I just twist my hair up. You don't have to split your hair into halves and then um, twist it up like if you don't want to you can just do one big twist but just know that the curls are not going to be as small you know because I kind of like smaller curls for some reason. Now putting a flexi rod in your hair is optional, but I do feel like this makes your hair more curlier and my ends are usually always straight, so I usually always usually use a flexi rod. And then that is it. It's very simple to do. Okay, so after my hair is all flexi rod up and twisted up, I just spray some hold and shine mist by Shea Moisture. And then this just gives a very nice hold. If you do not have this, a water bottle will be just fine. Then I just wrap my hair up with a scarf, which is a satin silk scarf. And then I went straight to bed. When I'm looking in the mirror, honey, you brought all I see. And it just not be no clearer. And it's just here with me. When I'm looking in the mirror. 
Okay, so we are almost done. After you get done taking down them flexi rods uh, with them twists, you want to just take it down very nice and gentle. Um, you don't want to ruin a curl pattern, so just be gentle, even though I do like a little frizz. Listen, and you will find that your heart beats for me Girl, I hear the sound And it only gets better Hey, start off with the kiss, uh-huh yeah. You never expect the miss, uh-huh Okay, so now what you want to do is just fluff out your hair. And as you see, I'm using a pick. You don't have to use a pick. You can use your fingers. But um, if you're using a comb or a pick like me, you do not want to basically uh, comb out your hair. You just kind of want to pick it from the roots. Because if you pick it, you know, too much, you may, you know, ruin the curl pattern. I'm addicted to you. I'm addicted to you. I'm addicted to you. Okay, and that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you. I'm